Martin. Uh, my organization, the uh, COVID, uh, the Frontline uh, COVID-19 Critical Care Alliance, we've worked with uh, a number of analysts. And two analysts that, that are part of our organization have been doing uh, numerous epidemiologic analyses throughout the pandemic. Their data, which again, I have to say, is free to share. We can share with the NIH, the FDA, so they can verify and validate the data. But if I could go through that data very briefly right now, I'd appreciate it. I brought slides. I will go through them very quickly. Okay. They are visual and easy to understand. Do, do we have slides available on, is this the one on Peru? So, yes. And let's okay. start with that because um, Dr. Bodhichari just mentioned something, is that one hypothesis for why we're seeing lower rates is that potentially there are younger populations. I want to show data to show that that's not true in these is this regions. Is the right slide? Yes. Number one, this is only in patients over <clears throat> 60. We know the mortality rates in patients over 60. They are fundamentally different than in younger patients. When you only look at patients over 60 and you look at this slide, this is in the eight regions of Peru, eight states in Peru that initiated ivermectin distribution campaigns throughout their population. If you look at each graph, the shaded area to the left of the graph is before the ivermectin distribution. To the right of that shaded area is after they initiated ivermectin distribution campaigns. In each of the eight states, you see what we call a temporally associated reduction. There's a peak in deaths, a peak in case counts, and a peak in case fatality rates, which rapidly decrease to pre-pandemic levels. This is powerful, powerful data. If you could go to the next slide. The next slide, uh, I believe if you could show me, uh, that's actually a skip, but I'll say this has been re replayed. We have data from many, many countries. On my website, our analysts have numerous examples. This is one in Paraguay. There was a, st uh, a state in Paraguay called Alto Paraña. The governor there got COVID. His brother got COVID. They took ivermectin and felt immediately better, and so they concluded that ivermectin was, a, uh, uh, was an effective treatment. I'm not saying that's how we determine treatments, but that's what they did. The governor did something really dramatic. He immediately began what he called a um, uh, deworming campaign throughout his state because he didn't want to go against the federal health ministry, which was against ivermectin. In his state, he began to distribute ivermectin to the population. If you look at that graph, yep. That's the, the, the case the blue counts line. and deaths peak and they rapidly decrease. A month and a half later, he found almost no cases in the hospitals. That was in Paraguay. If you can go to another uh, slide, uh, I, I can show, uh, are there any more slides that you have? This, these, this is the one region Yeah, this in is Mexico. in Mexico. So the, this is deaths in Mexico, and the left side of the graph is before August 1st, and the right is after. The green shaded uh, state is the state of Chiapas in Mexico, in southern Mexico. That state, alone amongst all the states in Mexico, decided to incorporate ivermectin in its treatment uh, protocols. And if you look, the case counts, and these are widely available and, and globally used uh, databases of case counts and deaths, you can see the deaths plummeted. While in all the surrounding regions in Mexico, Mexico, the deaths either decreased only slightly or in the majority they increased. So you are seeing this play out on population-wide basis in many regions of the world. If there's another slide, please advance. Because your question, and so here, going back to Peru, if you look at the blue lines and graphs, those are those eight states that I presented whose regional health ministries decided to widely distribute ivermectin. The red bars refer to Lima, the biggest city in Peru. Guess what happened in Lima? The health ministry of Lima did not employ ivermectin in the treatment of COVID-19. And if you can see throughout the summer and throughout this pandemic, the case counts rapidly rise and remain high and only recently have come down, but they're nowhere near the regions in which ivermectin was widely used. We have this data. It's showing that we have an effective treatment against this pandemic. I cannot overemphasize that. Okay, thank you. So 